let's get everybody hyped for this morning cup with Nick. Chad's getting two oh. mug club mugs. Holla. Those have been selling like hotcakes. But they're those things are sweet. Yeah, they are sweet. Are you ready, Nick? Yep. Yes, I am. All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Cup Live with Tristan and Nick. Holla, holla. We are coming at you with this week one of the country, if not the world's most popular roaster in the country, world, whatever you want to call it, Stumptown <laughs> Coffee Roasters. We're trying out their Costa Rican Montes de Oro. Montes de Oro. Montes de Oro. So, a little bit about Stumptown. They are located in, actually, they're located in, like, a lot of different places. They have multiple, 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 multiple locations. World, sorry, nationwide. I think it's L.A., um, New York. That's where this one was roasted. Okay. Um, I want to say San Francisco oh, and yeah. um, Portland. Okay. Uh, let me, I had it up and then it went away. Um, but like I said, they're one of the industry leaders in coffee they started in 1999 so they've been around for what that's 22 years 22 years doing this thing doing it really really good at a high level that's the impressive part that's what people say about me that's what they (laughs) don't say about nick i'm just kidding no they do um so coffee is about pleasure it's that moment when your hand is warmed up by that mug Mm. You raise it to your nose. Inhale deeply and then take a sip. That sip is then accumulation of years of work. 3,000 miles journey and passion just to make the perfect sip. That's mm, that's deep. (laughs) Put that in a book and read it, Tristan. Oh, yeah. So they believe that roasting should be transparent. They believe that it's their responsibility to honor the hard work already invested in the coffee by roasting it to showcase the distinct qualities. And if you want to roast good coffee and roast coffee every day, roast coffee for year to year. Roast coffee in a way that shows off not only the coffee that you're roasting, but the skills that you have honed over your career. So they, honestly, I thought I was reading a uh, poem first. (laughs) Um. (laughs) But, yeah, so they, like I said, they're one of the uh, industry leaders in the third wave where they've pushed caring for where it comes from, Mm. how it's made, who's getting paid properly, all of the good things that it comes with the third wave. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's, well, that's admirable. That's something to totally be behind, so. They they definitely direct source, um, as it says on here, direct trade. So they're working directly with the, uh, the farmers. They are going out there. And they're cutting out the middleman. They're yeah. making sure that the farmers, who are the people that get exploited the most in coffee industries, yeah, they're making sure that they are getting their fair share of this coffee. Because this right. co- coffee in general, but like specialty coffee is so good. And when um, people are, you know, yeah. cutting out the profits for the people that are really making the hard work, it's it's just not good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of metaphors I think you could spin that for, but, I mean, I don't know. So be like, simple is as simple does, you know, like, make sure you're just doing right by the people. Right, and so, so. They're, they're getting to know the producers. Um, it's part of their whole uh, approach. Uh, they're building these long-term relationships. Um, in 2019, 91% of all the coffee that, Stomptown purchases were relationships where the, they source coffee for three or more consecutive years. 91% of their coffee came from relationships that had been cultivated for at least three years. That's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually, yeah, that's, that's really cool. Because yeah. that means that it's, it's more than business in a sense. Like there's a relationship cultivated right. there. They're, they're right. not, they're not here to just make, make another buck. Right. 
They're here to really, really, really take care of people. Yeah. All right. So they get pl- uh, coffee from all sorts um, of places around the world, Africa, Asia, Pacific, Latin America, and Latin America is where they source a lot of theirs, which is, I would probably say, uh, normal. Um, huge, huge coffee producing area. Yeah. Um, so they got. And it's good. Yeah. They, so they're, they're sourcing, you know, Bourbons, Villa Lobos, um, Ethiopian heirlooms, some geisha. Um, <laughs> it says, what is it related to? Nothing. It's its own <laughs> orbit. I'm, it's I'm, its I want to get some um, geisha. Yeah. Well, next week, the next morning cup? No. We're no. not going to put a parameter on that. This is uh, <laughs> kind of part of a three part series of Sumptown. So we got a uh, yeah. passport trio from all around the world. We got an Indonesian, uh, Ethiopian, and this Costa Rican. So, yeah. All right. So, so this looks like it's about done. Yes. That's what I was about to say. It's, it's looking done. Um, one last thing it says on the back of the package. We're Stumptown, and it's good to meet you. You're committed to sourcing, roasting, and brewing fresh coffee of the highest quality. For us, quality goes beyond the content of our cup and is linked to the love and respect we show to our producing partners, our customers, the planet, and each other. Thank you for having coffee with us. Thank you, Stumptown. Um, Go ahead and check them out at stumptowncoffee.com. All right. We're getting into the sniffs. The sniffs. The sniffs. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I'm getting mm, okay. I'm yeah. I'm getting like a minty honey cocoa out of out of this bag. I'll trade you. All right, we're trading. Go ahead and put that down. That's I don't want to gra- be hot. Yeah, I don't want to grab the hot glass. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Earthy to me. One Hold more on. time. Ooh. Earthy, a um, little uh, cocoa, cocoa. Yeah, yeah, no. So, yeah, I get chocolate out of this minty, chocolatey minty honey. Is that what you said? Yeah. Whoosh, uh, you put it in my subconscious, and then I forgot about it. Or we're just on the same page. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the latter. Oh, no. No, no, this smells really good. It smells <laughs> it, really good. The the dry sniffs, I think, definitely smell better than the wet. Um, <sighs> Let me see your cup. There. Side note, I don't know if that's a real real term, a wet sniff. Wet sniffs? Yeah, because, uh, you know, cutting up one of these a while back is the first time I heard it, and I just don't like that terminology. Better get used to it, Nick. I just don't like the idea of a wet sniff. We do a lot sniff. of wet sniffs around here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me get one more wet sniff. This, you know, I can, I can tell this is probably going to be a just solid, solid cup of coffee. Um, it does say honey and lime on the front. I was not getting any smells of lime or citrus, so we will yeah. see what's in store for us. Yep. Oh. Oh. No, yeah. Did you already get your uh, your first sip in? I did. You were on your phone. I was enjoying the moment. Oh, that's that's fun. All right. So, <laughs> aromatics. Let's give us a rating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, to be fair, when me and Jack did the yeah, action, you guys did it backwards. Did it's okay. Backwards. We did it backwards. So, you know. so, what do you what are you feeling on the aromatics? Uh, rating. Uh, I'm gonna rating, give it. Yes. I'm gonna give it seven. We do not give sevens around here. <sighs> Yeah, it's too middle ground. I thought it was the six was the middle ground. Nah, seven. We don't give sevens on there. Make you make those tough decisions. Make me make those tough decisions. Well, if that if it's just a tough decision, it's a six. It's a six. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say it's six because it's good. No, don't get me wrong. It, it smells really good, but not like it didn't like. I wasn't like ready to dive into it. Which I feel like there's coffees that I've smelled where I'm like, yeah, I want yeah. this right now. I, I'm going to go ahead and agree. It's a 6 out of 10, so that averages up to 6. And I'm going to get my first sip. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Tell me what you're tasting. I'm tasting. I don't know. You tell me what you're tasting. So, yeah. My first sip. My first sip. The reason I went, ooh, is because I get the lime there. Like, I do get the lime hints when I'm tasting it. Yeah. Like, right, right at the top. And then it gets very, it gets very rich, it, or not like rich, but like it's very earthy. I get more of that, more of the cocoa at the end, back half. Yeah, I get a, I get a strong cocoa. You know, I'm actually kind of underwhelmed. Oh, I got a late, late um, taste there. That was a little limey. Yeah, I don't know. What was the ratio you did this at? This? This is 40 grams of coffee mm. and 560 uh, grams of water. Or ounces. Sorry. All right, go ahead and give a rating. I went first last time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the producer of the show, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. I just, I feel like I'm, a, I'm six again. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Um, it's not... Okay, so here's... I t- after we talked... After you and Jack did a, um, a show... Yeah. Which we... Me and Jack talked about it. 5 is not like... five's not bad on this scale. No. So, like, if we're doing 7 is a specialty coffee... Um, specialty coffee, like... Uh, standard? 7? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Eight is it's exceptional, a, a very good um, specialty coffee. Like what you're gonna drink, and you're like, wow, this is this is yeah. supposed to have nine tenths exactly. So yeah. six is gonna be more like towards an everyday drinker that yeah, is just like, okay, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Like, it's good, but five is still good. Five is yeah. still good. It's just more like an an everyday drinker. It's not gonna wow you. It's not gonna go crazy. Um, yeah, and so any anywhere below that, we're getting more towards. Like not good coffee. I get a kind of a raisiny aftertaste. You guys and your raisins. It does. I mean, yeah, Me, a bit of a a berry esque finish, but like very like dried, mu- very like, muted. Yeah. yeah. So, once again, no. Yeah, this is so, a good, good cup of coffee. Like I don't, yeah. I don't want to get it confused that when we're saying it's like a <laughs> six or a five, that we're just like this is garbage. No, this <laughs> yeah. is like. This is a super super solid cup of coffee. Yeah. Like I would buy, like yeah, like I would get this in a pour over. Like my drinkability on this, it would be high because it tastes so good. Well, I guess before we go drinkability, but, I gotta know what what you paid for it. Then. Um, I paid thirty six dollars oh. for all three of them. The three but they of these? were uh, so twelve bucks. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, that's not mm, that's not how much it costs. Anyway, so. Yeah, so we got a five and a six that gives us a five point five out of ten. Um, once again, solid. It's an everyday drinker. I can drink this every day. I for sure. If we're gonna move into drinkability, like it's a Costa Rican, it's solid. Yeah, I can do this every day. Yeah, I think. I but think, the amount of money that it costs to get this. But what is it? So is this twelve ounces? No, or that's bag. So for a twelve ounce bag of this, it is. Oh, it's from the San Jose province. That's pretty cool. Um, Sorry. Yeah. This was a uh, cool part about this. Um, Stumptown became Monta de Oro, their first customer. Tart green grape with a lingering toffee sweetness. You know, that actually. I think describes it better than honey and lime. Yeah, I don't know what the, <laughs> that does describe it better than honey and lime. That's what's on this bag. If you, if yeah. We, if if we would zoom in, whoop, it's on the bag. But this is a wash, so it's going to have a much cleaner. Like that's what I'm saying. Like this coffee is, ju- it's solid. Um, I just. It, it's there's no wow factor to me. It does what it needs to do. It does exactly. It does, it does what, what it needs, needs to, do. to do. I'm I would be like if I if I woke up in the morning had a had a pot of this, like this is this is a morning blend as Jack said last yeah. episode. This is Whoa. exactly what you look for in the morning coffee. Yeah. Nothing that's gonna punch you in the face. 
Nothing that's going to surprise you. Nothing that's going to be like, oh, man, it's sweet and tart. Like, yeah. ah, I just like, want to. Well, I've just been, like, on this kick of, like, simple things. Like, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay, like, I'm a simple man. Or, like, yeah, this is, like, like just keeping it simple. And this is, like, that falls in the realm. It's good. Like, yeah. it's good. But it's just simple. It's just simple. So, you know, if yeah. we're thinking of five as the middle of the road, like, that's your st- that's your consistent standard. Yeah. That's exactly what it's going to hit. It's going to hit that mark. Yeah. Um, so on to drinkability. Drinkability. Um, so it's $21 for 12 ounces. Uh, and I respect, I, I understand why these p- places are pricing their uh, stuff a little higher. Well, we were just talking about it. Right. This is direct. So. It's direct. They're helping out. They're making sure everybody gets a fair share. So yeah. that is. Um, howdy, howdy, George. That is important. And this is what. Things cost, so yeah, and I think yeah, that and that's fine, you know, like the price, that price point. Um, but would I would I say to, would I say to anyone like, oh, that's not like you, sh- it's not right for you not to drink it for twenty one dollars? Well, no, I mean, it's, per- uh, it's it's hard for me to want to buy yeah. a <laughs> standard cup of coffee for twenty one dollars uh, right. a pound, or actually less than a pound, twelve ounces, right? So it. Drinkability. With that being the factor, I'll I'll be this. I'll do it. I'll do, I'm, for me personally. Twenty one dollars. I rated it a six on drinkability. Like we're saying, it's simple for twenty one bucks. That's gonna make drinkability a four. A four for me. For me, drinkability goes goes way down for that. Uh, see, but like I could I could drink this every day though. Like, but that. So me and Josh have actually talked about this. How this drinkability scale is like. A weird. I think this is the most a, subjective scale. It absolutely it because it, it totally like if I was like if I was balling out like if I was like yeah like big bucks and twenty one dollars then the like, drinkability would go up. You, you take you take price out of this, I can drink yeah. this all the time. But I think that's important. It is important to to distinguish when we're doing these reviews. Yeah. Is but the, like I could like it's not a bad cup of coffee. It's a good cup of coffee. No, it's a good. It's a good cup of coffee. Yeah. Uh, so. It's hard for me to give it an eight because it is twenty one dollars. I don't an eight. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm not. That, sorry, I'm that. not. I'm not giving it an eight. I'm. Okay. Th- I'm. I'm going through the process okay. of of my rating. Okay. okay. Um. So giving it an eight, I just I don't know if I could. Um. Just because it's expensive for a good cup of coffee, but it's just it's just a cup of coffee yeah. that's going to be solid. Um. Six is too low. For me, I would put it at a seven if I could. Um, so I got to make this let's tough decision. Rewind right? fifteen minutes ago. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still going through the process <laughs> of what's going through my head. How am I going to rate this? So, if you're giving it a four, now this is kind of cheating because I did this before with Jack. I'm kind of going around the rules. So if I, if you gave it a four, let me do some quick math. You gave it a four out of ten. I feel like. You just gotta be just be honest. Divide her by a twenty. Don't don't do the math. Do the math I'm giving it an eight just to give it a six out of ten where I want it to be. Because I, I don't I don't think it's a four. I don't think it's four. Okay. I mean Yeah. I'm I okay. mean, I'm gonna I'll, stick I'll be, to the right, four. I'm I'll, gonna stick to the all right, four. Alright, I'm I'm gonna give it a six. We'll go with so it's a five out of ten. Okay. And that's yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I um, mean it, you give it what you want. Don't don't like let me like make you feel like don't make. Don't let me pressure you into to giving it a hard scale, or uh, hard yeah, level. I'm gonna go back to eight. Okay, eight out of ten. <laughs> Lori <laughs> says no. I don't know why. <laughs> what did I do, Lori? I'm sorry. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm gonna give it. I'm just gonna give it an eight. Okay. Which puts that at a six. At a six, yeah. Okay. Um. And that's fair. It is fair. I would say six is fair. Yeah. Um. Because it's the, it's it's really the twenty one dollar mark. It's. It's hard. It's hard. That's that's a hard part. But, but I also know. get it because, yeah, you know, doing coffee the way that they do it, which is a very good way to that's, do it. That's another reason why I had a hard time. I was like, yeah, like, do I really like? But so that that's for the, the culture. This is the subjective part because yeah. if the flavor, like if if like say this flavor just really got me, like it was just like hitting me. All all the notes were just hitting me just right. Then twenty one dollars for me. Wouldn't be bad, but no. because like because I'm sure there's somebody out there who like this is like they're like yo if you're gonna buy any cup of coffee from Stump Stumptown, get the Montes de Oro. 
Yeah. I'm sure there's people out there. So then if that, like, if that was me, the $21, then it, w- it would just be a completely different scale. But because to me, this is more of like a daily driver. Yeah. That's, and that's like the kicker of the drinkability part. Yeah. It is a daily driver for sure. What did you give uh, on uh, what sniffs? Uh, was it a six? We we did the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was six. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know. Mine was actually a dry sniff. Just let that let the let the court know. Let the court know. Okay, so oh, wet sniffs. <laughs> averaging it out, we get a six out of ten. You know, I would I would probably uh, ordinary is not an eight. You're right, Lori. You're right. I was playing math games because I didn't agree with the four. Lori's on my side. Thanks, Lori. Lori, Lori is on your side, um, but I think it landed where we wanted it to. Yeah, that's it. Six out of ten. I will. 10. I will give this a six out of ten confidently. Yeah, and like like we said, a five is if we're. It's your everyday drinker. You're getting into that better cup of coffee, like your like yeah. your your house roast. That's what I'm thinking when I hear a, a five. Mm. Six is a better uh, a, a more. You know. Unique, flavorful house roast. Yeah, I seven. We're getting into specialty coffees. Anything seven and above, I feel like, is almost small batch or like special reserve. Yeah. So like that's what that we're getting into the the, the lower tier of this that. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. That ten. That's like rare, rare air. Yes. <laughs> rare air. You're up. What there. was it? What was it? Uh, it was the Eric, right? Natty Eric did Yerk. get a ten on a something. 10. A couple things. I think it was Sness. Josh. Or no, it was taste. I don't know, but it was close. That and the um, not to bring up another coffee. Sorry. No, but that that and the uh, Madcap Get We were like phenomenal coffees. Like okay. wow, everything about it was just great. Okay. So that like it, the drinkability really fluctuates the scale. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, that's yeah. Because like you said, it's subjective. It's whatever. Um, but so six out of ten. That's what we're giving this. I believe that is a perfect score for this. Yeah, seven I, would probably be a little bit better, but I think honestly, I think if we were if if it, it's it, it's we couldn't give it an eight on a lot of things. Yeah, uh, we couldn't give it an eight on a lot of things, and I think if it got a seven, it would like that'd be padded. Like I think that would be yeah. because we wanted to take yeah, yeah, we wanted to give it a better so, score. So honest opinions, averaged out six with. I skewed it a little bit, but that's because <laughs> the people didn't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> six out of ten. Six out of ten. Yeah. So I would, I would, I would recommend this. If someone yeah. said, "Would you recommend this coffee?" Yes. Right. I mean, like, if you gave, like, you could give that as a gift. Y- yes. This is definitely a gift coffee yeah. that people are maybe Ooh. looking to <laughs> venture off into the uh, yeah the the specialty small batch yeah. realm. I think now, this would get you. Now I want to find a coffee that I'd give to my enemy. Like, I would just want to find an absolute one of a coffee. I got some. <laughs> I'll, I want, I'll, I'll wanna, talk to you after the show. <laughs> I want an absolute one of a coffee, and then I just want to talk it up and just give it to somebody and be like, you'll love this. <laughs> no, okay. like, make this. Make this for house guests. Important um, ones. <laughs> but I will say, if we had a bonus round, because I think we took that out because it was messing with stuff. If we had a bonus round, I would give my five points to Stumptown for the packaging, what they stand for, their everything. Um, them as a company, I think, is extremely important to realize is the right way to operate. Mm. Um, and everybody should strive to be uh, something l- like them. Not necessarily exactly like them, but consciously thinking about the whole process. So that's what I would give. If we had a bonus round again, we took that out. But I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? No, I agree with that. And I, I was going to say I really, the packaging, like, it just feels, like, clean. I don't know. There's, like, something, like, I don't, for me, there's, like, this very, like, rustic, yeah. and, like, authentic feel to certain things. Like, where if, like, I reached into my backpack to, like, grab this out, I feel, like, I'm glad that it's this bag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels good. Like, it feels like a cowboy. Yeah. I feel like a cowboy with this bag in your hand. And I'll say this, like I said, I got the the passport trio is what they call it uh, for like thirty six bucks or probably six ounces each or yeah. eight ounces each. Which knowing the price point for a twelve ounce bag of that, right? F- super good. That's great. super good. I would say check that out. Definitely, I would definitely check that out. What we should do is after we've reviewed the other two, 
come back, do all three again, and review like that package. Oh, okay. For that because that'd be interesting. I think that'd be like a cool concept. Like rate them. Yeah, rate all like rate all three, then average average. Sorry, I'm kind of like spit. I guess this is <laughs> this would this would be post show. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> so there it is. Six out of ten. Stump Town Montes Stump Town. de Oro. Check it out for yourself. <laughs> Prove us wrong if you think so. As always, <laughs> if you have suggestions, go ahead and drop them in the little comments below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Yep. Follow us on the Los Hermanos podcast or just look up Cafe Rica on your favorite podcast platform and you'll see us. Give us a rating five stars and above. I believe that's the Oh, what's, uh, what's the closing quote, man? What's the closing quote? You know, this is what it is. I think I talked about this last time, actually. So I'm going to have to, uh, you know what? I'm just going to do it again. Once you know that the limit can be broken, there is no, nothing stopping you. You can keep going. Whatever yeah. you can want to accomplish, once you realize that there is no limit, you will exceed what you thought was the limit. So it's kind of jumbled up. But like I said, I think I said that last time I was on. But it's honestly probably the quote of 2021 for me. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, so also be on the lookout for some cool, awesome offerings at Cafe Rica starting Sunday. Yeah. Yep. And yep. we are working on some things that are soon to come to the light. It's top secret. Only a few people know, but they're going to be awesome. I'm super excited. Nick has seen it. I'm sure he's super excited. Oh, yeah. So that is all I got. You got anything else, Nick? Yeah. Uh, go out there and be a light in the community. Boom. I love it. And we'll see everybody later. <laughs>